Is it too yeah. early for us to start talking about NX? No. I think we're mainly going to talk about 2016 stuff, and I'm very much looking forward to the NX, which is stupid, because we don't even really no, but know what it is. No, but it's one of those things, I'm very excited. like a new, in, like, no matter how cynical you can get, a new Nintendo I'm more excited about is, it than I was for a Wii U, or even you know, yeah, the PlayStation um, and the Xboxes. It's because it's more interesting to see what they're going to do. Whereas, and like, it's, it's you kind of know what hope, PlayStation the and Xbox are going to do. So, are so high. There's, like, little rumours here and yeah. there that... NY Times or whatever doing a piece the factory talking about how many they're going to make and when they're going to be shipping it so are they moving away from motion controls do you think yes I think they I think they will do I don't, I don't think we're going to have another probably waddy wee thing but I wouldn't be surprised if it had like low key motion controls like um, like they all kind of do now with like gyro in the in the pad or something. See, I quite yeah. enjoy that with the Vita, that you still kind of have like the little fiddly things you can do, but uh, it's not, you know, the defining... I like it to the level where it's like maybe with Splatoon or something, like aiming like that. Yeah. It just feels really good. So I wouldn't be surprised if they have something like that in it. And you have to consider their back compatibility as well. Yeah. Would they? I don't know whether I don't know whether or not they would they would they do that. I don't know. I think they would probably. It might have not even a... be a proper replacement for the Wii. No, it no. might be more of a side adventure. And I think just in terms know. of their backwards compatibility, they've got such a good catalogue that there's a very good chance that it will just be a downloadable back catalogue stuff like like yeah. virtual console stuff. It would make sense rather than like going through the rigmarole of making sure you you can put your old discs in the machine. I don't I don't think they would. That is an interesting thing though for uh, console manufacturers in that. It's the controls backwards compatibility to... is a draw for people to buy it, but at the same time, if you don't have backwards compatibility, you have the ability to sell all those Tell games all over again. again. And people will buy them in the same way. You know, I've bought countless copies yeah. of the same of the same game. Um, I don't know how many times I've bought Final Fantasy. If, yeah, if there's a new console and somebody releases Res on it, I'll, I'll buy it. So, I mean, if there's a, if like I don't know how many copies of Sonic I've bought over the over the years. Gunstar Heroes, and then release that, whatever it is, I'll, I'll, I'll download and play that. It's all um, about Sonic. That's the key. That's the key takeaway here. Will Sonic be a launch game Sonic on NX? <laughs> Classic Sonic, of course. So you're um, a big Rez fan, huh? Mm, yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I, I love Rosh. I love you like Rez, shooters. you like Fez. How thing. did you feel about Child of Eden? I liked it. I did like it a lot. It's, it's, I don't think it's, it doesn't have the purity of, um, of Rez. Um, it's a bit too like Res has got a very good techno soundtrack, whereas Child of Eden's a little bit too kind of Euro trance, I guess. <laughs> it is. <laughs> um, but it's it, but it is it is still a great game. Um, yeah. It was it was um, my 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 first big project at Ubisoft actually. Oh, was it? Yeah. There you go. So yeah, I mean, I I, I, I loved it. Um, that Euro trance. <laughs> maybe we should do a maybe we should do a little a little bit of Res and and Child of Eden. We've got both of them here somewhere. So we can. Hmm. Fire those up, but anyway, NX. I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> I spent so much time doing that. that. Don't forget that guy asked to stop hitting the table so much. <laughs> Sorry, there's there's me banging away. Um, I think there's a lot of goodwill for Nintendo, and, and I think gamers in general really kind of want to see them do something really cool. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it does. If that rumor that I think the NY Times commented on that it would be like. Uh, both a portable and a home console somehow. Like you would plug it in and it would like downscale to like a portable thing. So like an evolution of the Wii U game. Like a gamepad you can actually take away. Like a like, like a Vita the that plugs pad... into your TV? Yeah. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> like if the gamepad was a three D F. But you would you'd want it to stream though, wouldn't you? Don't you you'd have to be kind of in some ways like the Wii U is in a bizarre way. As in you'd have a box in your tell that you can stream. But maybe you know, stream this, they can put powerful enough technology in it. To not have to stream. Well, possibly you just put, you'd have to have like a little, little dongle in your TV in the USB slot or something to actually receive the data. Like the Vita and the PS4 already has like remote play. Yeah. Maybe it's just an evolved version evolved of that version kind of, of technology. I'm but thinking discless, always online system. Maybe. As but if it was a handheld, that'd one. be tricky. Mm. VR would Nintendo go on the VR? Route? Maybe. Everyone's talking about VR. What if Nintendo just came out and they had? So well, here's VR. Yeah. You can buy it. It's at a reasonable price. That's a kind of Nintendo thing to do. Yeah, I was gonna say like VR isn't really like a proven thing. It's a concept thing. 
and they but secretly Nintendo had, would had the be the ones to kind of just go just all in and, and like oh see we did it perfect we yeah, so. Virtual Boy 2 baby <laughs> <laughs> headaches all round um, so yeah they unveil it it's all like modern looking it's like really pretty and then the first like, it's video just like is a kind just of Geordie LaForge style <laughs> oh it is head, in red and black headband perfect very nice high resolution Pumping Crunchy World into both eyeballs simultaneously. <laughs> 3D anime. It's the future. Yeah, 3D. When 2D anime. girls become 3D. <laughs> so, um, so predictions. You have some pred- predictions about what, what, what you think it's going to be. What your, what your gut feel is that Nintendo uh, are going to be. The NX will be a home console and portable console. Without streaming, it will downscale it, and it will launch with a version of the upcoming Zelda game for Wii U. Will be released on both Wii U and NX. My uncle who Twilight works at Nintendo. <laughs> My uncle who works at Nintendo has told me this. I'm thinking I'm going to go out on a limb and go. It's going to be a kind of um, discless online stream. I the ability to stream, but also to download content. I think it's going to almost be like a Nintendo-y Steam box where everything is everything is online. So you think Nintendo's finally going to fully embrace online? I think it's going to be a very small and sleek. They have got that partnership system. with the mobile network DNA. Hmm. But I think that was to bring their properties to Maybe. the mobile market, IP to the mobile market, which... which they still doesn't. don't have like a proper network yet, so maybe if... Maybe their partnership with DNA can also give them a proper online network. Maybe, but I'm thinking they're going to. I'm thinking it's going to be um, very different from what people expect. I don't think it's going to be like a PS4 or an Xbox One or um, or, or Wii. I think they're going to go. They're going to go throw us all a massive curveball. I'm very excited. I am. To my yeah, core. I, 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 I have it, no one. idea what they're going to do. I'm pre-ordered right now. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I've been excited NX, with a lot of the things Nintendo have done, like it, with 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 uh, both with Smash Brothers and yeah. with uh, Mario Kart, with the DLC and and how they're doing all those things. They've done a lot of exciting things mm. recently, so I'm hopeful the that they will blow my mind. Mm. Yeah. They still bring in the games, and, it's, what's and the I think point? they've they've come for they've come around from they've you know they originally they were very much kind of casual friendly certainly through Wii and the original DS but they think they've they've re embraced the core gamer which isn't a phrase I wouldn't really want to use but they have they you know tropical um, freeze <laughs> of course well the tropical freeze but um, you know like stuff like Fire Emblem and things like that on on 3DS and and seeing people really enjoy. Enjoy that kind of content again, and, and Nintendo take that kind of content really seriously. Look how good Smash is. You know, it is it is legit. Yeah, um, took their time with it. They did. They did take the time with it, but you know, Nintendo will will only release it when it's ready. It is. On a final note, Star Fox. Star uh, Fox that's, Zero. Um, very much looking for. In the same way as Rare's Panzer Dragoon, all that. Another very good rail shooter to come from Nintendo. I'm I am excited for that. Yeah, looks good. Mm. And platinum's involved, mm. so it has to be amazing. It is. <laughs>